so what's happening everybody make sure I'm recording here um, I wanted to talk about something if I've got time on my way home about something that um, that you may find strange or funny or whatever but um, it is what could be defined as Jesus Pete's it is what could be defined as uh, road rage, okay? Now, the definition of road rage, and I've talked about this before, is just simply giving somebody the finger is considered to be road rage. To not have road rage is to simply just drive from A to B. doesn't matter how fast or how slow you're going, but basically not paying attention to what other drivers are doing uh, and just driving, okay? Um, unfortunately, when I'm driving, I have a tendency to be a little bit more on the aggressive side. Not reckless, just aggressive. And what will bother me is, let's just take this road here for instance. Let's say that somebody's coming up on me doing 10 miles over what I'm doing. I will have a tendency to speed up with them because I feel in my mind, I feel like they are behind me so they should stay behind me. And that um, you know they shouldn't be allowed to overtake me, okay? You can, I mean, I know it sounds weird, but what really bothers me is in heavy congested traffic. Nobody likes congested traffic, but you will always have that one person who has a, a way of weaving, weaving in and out of lanes and getting further and further. It's like uh, it's like what they say: the nice guy finishes last. So here I am, following all the rules, driving like I'm supposed to be driving, and some asshole will come up behind you and just. Just in and out, in and out, in and out of lanes, and just just continuously do that. And I had a friend who was like that in high school, and it was like everything I could do just to hold on, thinking, "Man, what a prick!" Cutting people off, cutting somebody off, then turning. And his, I remember, I said to him, "I was like, why do you drive like such an asshole?" He's like, "I don't care. I need to get somewhere, so I'm going to get there as fast as I possibly can." And I think to myself going all the way back to high school, okay? I had an 84 Blazer. It was a piece of crap Blazer. There was, you know, not much to it, but I drove it like it was a sports car. Because in my mind, I had my own vehicle. So in my mind, I was faster than the rest of everybody. And uh, I, uh, I just drove it thinking, oh, Corvette, who cares? I'm faster than you. So when I, you know, I would always keep up with the Corvette or pass the Corvette or whatever, you know, and I always had that, that feeling in my mind like, yeah, I'm faster than you. I didn't know the limitations of my truck, which was zero to 60 in like 13 seconds or something. Just absurdly slow. Um, but that's how I felt. So here I am, 30 years old, and I'm feeling like in my mind, I'm feeling like, you know, I see um, some piece of shit, let's just say Cavalier or something, coming up on me real fast. And I think to myself, you know what? I've got a fast car. I'm going to let this little piece of shit think he's faster than me and let him get around me or past me. No, I'm going to put this kid or piece of crap car in its place. And, you know, again, you can start laughing again on how you feel about that, but that's, that's, well, that's what's going on in my mind. And yesterday, and this is what is making me want to talk about this. Yesterday, my wife drove us to church, and it's about a 30-minute drive. And uh, she doesn't have an internal compass, okay? Now, this is not, this is not a... Nothing against women or anything else like that. She just doesn't have an internal compass. And she doesn't really pay too much attention to her surroundings. And twice she almost got us into an accident. And I had, I was the passenger and I was yelling at her, stop, stop, stop. I mean, really yell at her. And she would just, she kept on turning. There was a, uh, there was an intersection where only one side out of the floor, four would go at once. That's, shit. There was only one side that would go at once, and she thought, oh, okay, because our side's red, then the side across from us is red. So when she went to make a right turn, she assumed, okay, all I have to do is look left, I don't see anybody, and just kept on going. She didn't look straight, 
and there was somebody coming there were two people who were coming who were going straight and i saw this that she was pulling out and she was going to cut them off and there'd be an accident and i yelled at her stop like five different times and she was looking like behind her and stuff like that and and uh, it's like my god and um so i tend to be a little bit more defensive on driving whereas i i pay attention to my surroundings and it's almost like it's almost like a competition to me and i i honestly you know like i said my blazer when i had that i felt like oh i could outrun a corvette uh or a porsche or anything i could outrun anything in that blazer all i had to do was put my foot on it they're not going to keep up with me i don't feel that way anymore if in this car you know i there was a corvette coming up behind me i wouldn't even try okay because i know the corvette would beat me anywhere okay i just know that but when it comes to something like a honda or a cavalier or anything that i perceive like a truck like this guy in front of me anything i perceive as being slower than me i don't want them to get the impression that they're faster than me no way especially a kid i want to put that kid in his place like hey you've got a four cylinder 120 horsepower cavalier and you think that by doing 10 miles an hour over the speed limit you're faster than i am no you're not let's go let's do this and that really bothers me and that's what's legitimately going on in my head to the point where it almost makes me sick especially when i'm driving with my wife because she tends to be a little bit more she's a lot you know she drives faster in certain situations but why are we going so slow but um she tends to not pay too much attention to her surroundings so um you know when somebody's coming up behind her real fast and i can see him in the side mirror or whatever and i'm thinking to myself man i would never let that person pass me or or whatever you know i just um i don't know i i really can't put it too much into words so it really legitimately bothers me and you could call it a condition but i'm not reckless by any means that's the thing is these sort of conversations come up with Paul? Oh, you're just reckless no i don't drive weaving out of the lanes uh i don't act reckless i don't do any of that stuff but the thing is is the definition of reckless some people and i've got these conversations on youtube on my own channel some people say just doing one over the speed limit means you're reckless because you're breaking the law and that's automatically reckless no it's not okay speed limits are there to protect the public right well a lot of times speed limits are there to set up speed traps and that's what I don't like and that's where that cop was sitting right there this morning so man dude are you out of state or something I can't tell you're driving really fucking slow so anyway that's just something that I struggle with internally finally 